Minister of Power Adebaya Adilabu as assured customers not currently enjoying 20 hours of electricity that they will not pay uh, the new tariff. It stated that the government introduced a new policy to save the sector and assured Nigerians that the pains were temporary. Adelabo also stated that the federal government would pay uh, 2.9 trillion in Naira to uh, subsidize electricity this year if the tariff was not reviewed. From the mobile of first and from harmonization of uh, the dual exchange rates, we now say let's look at those set of customers that can actually have some stable level of supply of minimum of 20 hours per day. So what we did was actually creative and quite different from what we have experienced in terms of the tariff review, tariff review in the past. We made it a conditional tariff. We made it a service reflective tariff that the only condition that can make a distributor company to charge the new tariff of 25 Naira per kilowatt hour is they must ensure they supply a minimum of 24 to 20 hours to that consumer every day. If they cannot sustain this within a period of seven days, such consumers must be granted to the old tariff. That is the condition. The committee chaired by Senator Inaya Baribe and uh, all the committee members disclosed or uh, discussed the migration of customers from different customer classes and questioned if this classification aligns with legal provisions. This investigative hearing we focus primarily on answering three basic questions. A. At what time did NEC migrate from the previous customer classes of residential R1, R2, and R3, commercial C1 and C2, and demand D1 and D2 to the present unexplainable bands A, B, C, and so forth for electricity customers. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Gwichmoli, it's quite evident that enough consultation has not been done before this tariff increase. And it is to say the least, the increase is outrageous, it's unaffordable and unrealistic. It is only the discourse that are supporting this increase, simply because it's going to favor them. But the Nigerian public whom we represent are crying. And the timing of this increase is not appropriate in view of the fact that uh, there is withdrawal of petroleum subsidy which has added to the cost of living. There is merger of the exchange rate which has also made things go very, very high. I also want to know how the ministry verified that the discos actually distributed those meters or did you do the distribution? That's question number one. Then also, secondly, I want to go to the World Bank loan for meters. I, it was brought to the attention of the Senate that the loan was to be given to us, but in return, the, produce, the meters would be imported and we object to that and I'm trying to find out if that situation has changed and the meters are now being locally produced. Then thirdly, um, I would like to know how much the discos have invested in the discos since they, uh, they were acquired. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.